Yeah, no, to an extent, uh, I think um, the, the frustrating thing for me, a few people have said, oh, you must be pleased. Well, yeah, to a certain extent, but also we had control of that game. We could have won the game if we did um, stayed in the game for the, you know, the whole 80 minutes. But as it was, we, um, we lost concentration at periods. So we didn't take all our chances. And uh, in that regard, we were, we were taught, obviously, we were taught a lesson because we were always learning and we take stuff like that. But certainly, uh, Munster got the capability to maintain that level of intensity throughout their game, and uh, we weren't really at that point. As a result, we didn't get, get, get the win, which we probably deserved. Um, so I've been a bit frustrated this week. Um, we are a performance side, and we're not a development team anymore. Uh, development teams can afford to learn their lessons, but uh, performance teams have got to win, and uh, we didn't win. So I'm um, pretty frustrated, to be honest. So what's the cause of them saying you'd be expecting a win over there this week? Uh, we'll be certainly going out there to win a game of rugby, and um, we've got to bring the same level of intensity we did for 90% of that game last Sunday, 400% of the game against Aroni, and if we can do that, um, well, but if we don't, uh, we won't do so. So, uh, you know, there's a lot for these guys to prove, and uh, they've got to step it up. Um, uh, they've got to be sure that they start realising that that's all about performance. And we spent some time today looking at video, uh, uh, and video. I mean, they're quite clear that you know we don't win matches analysing performances. You, you, know, you get it right on the field, and you manage it on the field. If you do that, that's when you win games. And uh, we let it go an opportunity to get away as a result of that, and we can. You know, if this was last year, we would have been happy with that. We could fall into the, um, the, the situation of actually accepting that it was a good performance and we tap ourselves on the back, but we let a game we should want to get away from us. Eight games in now. Is it fair to say now that you, you know, you're challenging for the top four place for the end of the season? Now it's, you know, that's a very realistic uh, thing. Um, I think everybody would say that. Everybody is going to look to get into the top four. Um, what we've what I said at the start of the season, we needed to do a little talking on the field and um, not off the field. And we weren't able to do that really on Sunday. As much as it was a performance, to a certain extent, it wasn't a great performance. And uh, as I say, I think if we accept last year's standards, then we will move ourselves on, but we can't accept that. I think that's the same difference now between if you had to compare last year and this year. Um, you know, that's that's the improvement. You, you've gone to a place like Manchester now. Okay, you've lost by a point, but you know, not happy with it. You know, it was a, the victory was there for the taking. Do you think that's the the, the upward curve that you you take this year? It's, it's part of it. You know, there's lots of little things that have um, helped us to get to where we are right now. Um, but we've got to keep ensuring that we keep driving things forward. Um, Probably this time last year we were in the position to make these comments because there, it was still very much a developing group of players. Now, as I said at last year, that's gone and it's about performance. And uh, yeah, I think we've got to be hard on ourselves, otherwise, we keep on accepting mediocre, mediocrity. And, um, uh, quite clearly, we're not going to do that. We're missing the entire back row. Must, uh, uh, those boys, any of them? Obviously, David Lyons, even close to coming back. Yeah, David Lyons is available for selection. Um, a very tough selection. I mean, the back row and uh, you know, with, with with Josh and uh, McCusker still not available to us. We're still scratching our head down the, the back row. It's, uh, it's very competitive. It's a great position to be in, and um, you know, again, I made it quite clear to the boys that's one of the strengths in the team now. We've got strength in depth, and everybody's pushing each other. It's raising the bar. Um, and guys realise that if they don't perform or they underperform, there's somebody who can come in and, and take the shirt from them. And when they've got the shirt, they've got to make sure they hold on to it. And uh, you know, it's, it's a great position to be in in many years. Ways. For the last couple of seasons, perhaps if David Lyons would have been injured, he wasn't injured much, but he was injured then. Then he's thinking, oh, we're going to replace him. Yeah. Over the last five weeks, you will cover it down and do more. Yeah, well, you know, it's. It, it, the last five weeks that everybody's seen it, but uh, you know it's yeah, been um, the, the previous sort of 16 months getting into a position where um, he was able to perform and play. He was identified as somebody who had talent. Uh, before that, we brought him into our system, and he's developed in the system very well. And um, it was just a matter of time really when we gave him his opportunity. Um, his first opportunity was going to be the ARP games, but because of circumstances, he played in the Glasgow game, and, and ever since that, you know, he's, he's more than proved his worth. 
mentioned the strength and depth and the players performed on Sunday. Uh, obviously, you don't like to pick players out, but someone like Reese, uh, and I've said how perhaps that there's been a, a, perhaps a confidence player um, in the past is, is sort of starting to, to boss and control games. Um, looking with a weird, slight weather's hat on now, have some of the players been hard on the you think? Um, looking at positions like outside the map, for example. I, th I think what happens is, you know, um, if people don't perform, you get judged every week. week. And um, it's the same at international level, the same at regional level. Reese has been performing at regional level, and maybe some other people have been performing international. So, you know, you can make those comparisons with them. But, uh, um, and that's the key to it, you know, I, I think we need strength in depth. Wales need strength in depth. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the fact that we generated a bit more strength in depth, that will hopefully help the Welsh cause over time. And, you know, I think I'd like to think that um, obviously the choice of the autumn internationals had to be made some time ago, but I'd like to think that uh, the Welsh selectors are now looking down at what, what's happening here. I'm saying, well, there are quite a few players now maybe more through the, the system of the Scarlets, which we can consider moving forward. Just for the fact, Ben, would you consider as a six or play as a six? Is that an option that you would have to play with them in the same back row? It's definitely an option. Yeah. Definitely an option. Whenever a win now, did you? Does that make a big difference? It does, yeah. I, when you look at this, the, the quality of the individuals within their team, you know, you, you've got to scratch your head and wonder why they haven't had a win. I think, um, obviously, you know, with Roland taking over, you know, put a different slant on it, you know, different uh, perspective to things. And uh, I think they're a very dangerous team, and it, it is a puzzle to me why they haven't been so competitive up to this point. There's been lots of errors in the game which haven't allowed them maybe to do establish any sort of foothold in matches and they'll be aware of that. But um, they are quite quality individuals when you when you break their squad down. Because you know, if they weren't so early this evening it would be sort of assuming that you wouldn't want to work the same again. Well absolutely not and you know, that's why it's so important that we'll be watching this game in the right frame of mind. Um, and you know whether we'd have won or lost against Munster that would have been irrelevant in terms of the prep that we need to bring into this game and uh, we have to be in the right frame of mind. If we're in the right place, we play with the, the type of intensity that we did for 90 minutes for the Mike Trevor game against Munster, then we do well. And that's where we don't want to be. What are your win options? Is Joe Joa is back. Oh. Still pretty light. Uh, of that three players at this morning. Right? Yeah, just looking forward to the wheels. What's the yeah. decision we made about Matt Martin, your captain in the side? Yeah. We, we spoke a few weeks ago that you thought that Matt Martin could be Wales captain for the long term. Has he shown enough in the last few weeks to suggest that you know, he could take on that goal? He seems to have, you know, obviously I'm not in it. In the world camp, but they've obviously been impressed with him in terms of how they reacted to it. So um, uh, I'm really, really impressed with what he's done here. Yeah. So I would assume that uh, he must be a candidate for the long term. So. He seems to have been almost inspired by the captaincy. He's taking his game to it. Yeah, I think lots of players, once they're given that um, authority, uh, they, they revel in it and they own it. And Matthew is certainly one who's done that. And, um, uh, I think he's always had full respect of the players, but now he's got the, the authority to go and lead, and um, with that, he's, he's taken to it very comfortably. And the players have reacted very positively, certainly here, and seemingly the wheels as well.